During the Alzheimer's Disease Summit in 2012, uh, there was an overarching goal of finding a cure for Alzheimer's disease by 2025. And this goal can only be reached if there are concerted efforts uh, by researchers, clinicians, um, engaging a government and um, essentially uh, promoting team science. And as a result of this summit uh, came through a number of um, research uh, initiatives, uh, which then uh, led to applications throughout the United States. So the overarching aim uh, of our grant is to identify the genetic factors uh, that contribute to the development of vascular disease and that lead to the interplay between vascular disease and Alzheimer's disease. Um, so genetics is an important component uh, of the grant, but there's also um, another component that aims at modeling what we find in the humans, in, the, uh, in mouse models, and in stem cell populations. At Mayo Clinic, we have a unique uh, situation here where uh, the clinicians and basic scientists work very close together. And that's tremendously important because uh, the basic scientists can uh, have the opportunity to use directly patient-derived material. And sometimes these could be uh, blood, where we can isolate DNA to do genetic study. Sometimes these could be um, cells that, um, that allow us to convert them to different type of brain cells. And sometimes these could be autopsy brains, uh, which allow us to study the pathology and also the biological changes uh, occurring in these, uh, in these brain. So that we can, uh, once we understand uh, the change of these paths we associate with patient, then we can use these events as a drug, a drug screening platform, uh, therefore to uh, um, sort of benefit patient uh, once we have uh, the drug developed. So we will be leveraging two important uh, resources uh, to achieve our aims. One of the resources is the Mayo Clinic Brain Bank, which is led by Dr. Dennis Dixon, that has thousands of uh, brain samples uh, with uh, very detailed um, uh, information with respect to their pathologies. We will take these samples and we will characterize them to identify the vascular contribution to Alzheimer's type pathology in the brains. And we will also do high level genomic studies to identify those genetic variants gene expression changes and other changes in the DNA that modulate vascular contribution to Alzheimer's disease. In Alzheimer's disease, the primary toxicity that injure neurons and eventually kill neurons are these uh, proteins, so-called amyloid protein, uh, and also another protein called tau. So these are toxic protein if you have too much of them or you have a form of these proteins that tend to uh, clump together. They tend to injure neurons. So these are uh, pathways that we, uh, uh, we tend to target. And um, with this part of this uh, research is about discovering what are the genes and gene variants leads to the overproduction of these toxic molecules and how these toxic molecules act upon neurons to injure them. And so uh, once we build this platform, this could be used, and typically they're in the dish uh, or with culture cells for drug screening to find a compound that eventually can be developed a drug to correct these pathway, either reduce production of these uh, toxic protein or to uh, reduce their possibility to aggregate to become the form that have more toxicity to neurons. For some time now, we know that vascular risk factors have a major contribution to the risk of Alzheimer's disease. For example, we know that um, hypertension, diabetes, high cholesterol, not only are they risk factors for heart disease, but they're also risk factors for dementia and also specifically for Alzheimer's type dementia. However, we don't quite know the underlying mechanism where such vascular risk factors promote dementia and specifically Alzheimer's disease. We know from pathology studies that patients 
who have the um, characteristics of Alzheimer's type pathology in their brains oftentimes also have vascular pathology, such as strokes, such as small bleeds. And our study will investigate the extent to which such brain signatures of vascular disease interact with, lead to, or work with Alzheimer's type risk, uh, risk factors and pathologies to lead to the ultimate outcome of dementia. So there's a national plan to address Alzheimer's disease, and the specific plan is that uh, by 2025, we'll develop an effective method to prevent or treat Alzheimer's disease. And so that's only 10 years from now, and so we're uh, facing a great challenge, in particular the researchers um, who are at the front line of this uh, so-called battle. And so uh, this project, uh, which we're going to uh, take on, uh, directly a sort of a part of the effort, is part of the effort of this uh, um, national plan. And so what we hope to achieve is to um, use the tools we have, the resources we have, to uh, di discover new genes, uh, understand how this gene impact the disease pathway, and then uh, at the end of a project to do drug screening, uh, therefore to develop new method for treatment and therapy. Above all, I would like to thank our patients, um, their families uh, who enabled the brain donations, uh, the patients and families who come back tirelessly for these research studies. Without them, studies such as this are not possible. And it is because of them that we have a hope of finding a cure for Alzheimer's disease.